Oh no, there's too many mangoes for this container. Let's dispose of some. In my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> These mangoes are going off. Can I smell them? They smell really good. They smell really ripe. They're just ripe. We need to eat them soon. Today we're going to use them up, uh, including the stones and peels to make a super sweet and summery meat marinade. Let's go. To start, we're going to wash the mangoes since we'll be using the skins. I'm just going to cut the cheeks of the mangoes. If you do this, you can kind of see how far away it is from the seed. Once you've got the mango cheeks off, you can then separate the flesh with a large spoon. Doing it this way seems to get maximum mango. <laughs> I don't know. Take off the sides and cut off the excess around the stone. Otherwise, you can just throw in the whole stone with the peel and flesh attached. In a medium saucepan, add your mango pits and peels. Add in two cups of water, then about two tablespoons of sugar. You could substitute for honey if you wanted. I've got two tablespoons of dried ginger here, including peels, but you can just use sliced fresh ginger. I've just put it on medium. We're just waiting for that to come up to a simmer. It looks pretty gross but we're gonna strain this in the end I mean it doesn't look gross but it just doesn't look that delicious it looks uh, ugly no. delicious yeah most people would throw these bits away so it's kind of nice to get a little bit extra out of them once you're starting to see bubbles um, let it simmer like this for 10 minutes I like your um, shoes today they're very fitting for uh, the They're hot just... summer. <laughs> You'll see it started to thicken up as the mango flesh has kind of started dissolving into it. We can turn the heat off and we'll let it sit so the flavours can meld. I don't know. Uh, then we'll strain it after that. Just let it sit like this for 15 minutes. Uh, so you can see it's really thickened up. Mm, it's ready. We'll just strain this and just stir it around. I'm also just trying to get as much of the whatever mango is left into the marinade. You can put the last little bits in the compost. It looks kind of like a puree. So that's the base of a mango marinade. It's quite versatile. You can use it on sweet and savory things like ice cream or pancakes, but you can also use it as a marinade for meats like chicken and pork, like pork ribs. Just add salt, pepper, if you want a little bit of lime or lime zest. To store this marinade base, just pop it in the fridge. You can also freeze it to keep it for longer. And that's pretty much it. Subscribe for more zero waste recipes like this.